Hi, I'm Brianna, I'm one of the assistants here at the Vet Center for Birds and Exotics, and today I'm going to show you how to syringe feed our chinchilla here. This is Daxter. He is about nine years old. This is Daxter. He's about nine years old, and we're going to be syringe feeding critical care. This is really important if you ever are at home and have an emergency where your little guy stops eating. Um, it's really important to know how to syringe feed um, so we can keep them healthy and have enough nutrients in them until you can get them into the center. Um, so what I've done right now is Daxter's feeling really great. I've wrapped him up in a towel. Um, you, if you have two people, it's probably going to be a bit easier for you. Um, just kind of burrito your little guy up and put him on a flat surface like this. The critical care, it comes as a powder. You mix it with water till it's like a milkshakey uh, consistency and we should be giving you directions on how much you're going to be feeding. Today we're going to be feeding Daxter about 20 cc's. Um, important thing to know when you're feeding is you want to go nice and slow because if you go too fast either they're not going to eat it and it's going to drip out of their mouth which is useless or they could end up aspirating and choking on it which can, can, ca can cause other health concerns. So what you want to do is once you have them nice and wrapped and relaxed is nice and slowly go into the side and they're not going to be a big fan of it. Nice into the side of the mouth and then gently push on the end of your plunger until you see some food come out. You really want to watch and wait and see that they're either chewing on it or swallowing it because you, again, like I said, you don't want to feed them too fast. So you have to go kind of slow, take some breaks, let them swallow what they have in their mouth and keep going. And Daxter here likes his critical care, so he's a pretty good sport about that. And again, just nice and slow. If it drips out of their mouth, that's okay. You can wipe them up afterwards. And you keep going like this until you've given them the full amount. Um, again, just making sure you take your time and then cleaning them up, just wiping them up if there's any excess dribble um, afterwards. And that's how you do it.